The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, the first chart we're going to start with today is from David White. He and Tom O'Brien have a really good service showing the different patterns, and it's the ETF for wheat. As you can see here, it's uh, forming a beautiful uh, butterfly pattern. Now, what I'd like to do is to... Uh, bring this up here and show you something uh, just a little bit different here and that is uh, this is a long-term chart here this comes from uh, Sherman McKellen's son uh, hold on one second this is from Tom McKellen get this up here it's act it's through uh, uh, Jim Bianco's research but basically what it's showing you here is let's just get this up here to take a look at it and that is the wheat chart you'll notice here that uh, the uh, it's in a really strong move here but what they're doing here is they're showing the relationship of gold and wheat now i uh you know in, in fact wheat is golden so maybe that does mean something but the thing is we're looking at here is you'll see that the 2008 commodity bubble index was way up here and then we've had lower tops in here and you can see we've had lower tops in wheat we've had a little bit higher tops in the gold market so that makes a correlation between wheat and gold that i've never seen before but i thought it was worth uh, bringing to your attention because i wanted to share with you uh, a chart that we've been watching uh, for quite some time now and that's this uh, this chart here hold up we get this up here we can see it today you'll see this is the chart of wheat and uh, we were looking for this high to come up in here and around this uh, actually the high got to 807 last night and we're now we're now 16 cents lower than that it sold off uh, quite a bit so if you were selling that you would certainly have your stop at uh, break even now uh, because these markets are very, very volatile. The only trade that we were in was uh, the trade that we talked about, which was the soybean oil. Uh, this is cooking oil, as you know. It went up to the 61% retracement up there at uh, 62.30. We came down. You'll see our first target was at 61.40. Uh, the low last night was 61.41. And then we've rallied back a little bit. But uh, that completed the uh, – and remember now, we hi have higher bottoms in here. That was the reason for the uh, potential profit there because it came down so sharply that uh, you, when you when you make $600 that quickly and when you're only risking $200, uh, that that's what you really try to do. This is what we're going to be doing when we do the uh, day trading on November the 10th with uh, with Tom Hugard. Tom, hopefully, will be with us for a little bit over an hour during the day, coming in and out. But uh, we've got a lot of things to cover. A great great trading markets now, folks. I have to share with you this. You you talk about something that that warms your heart. I have to uh, send you a cop. I, I didn't put his name in here, but George, if you're listening, I know you're going to be watching this. Uh, from Hong Kong, but uh, he was kind enough to send this here. He says he entered the Tesla position at 900. Once it exceeded 1.618, what level should it go to? And he, he said he wanted to know where to lock in his profits this morning. Well, whenever you ask the question, where do I get out? That's your answer. You, you, <laughs> if you don't know, get out. And all I said was, look, the 1.618 expansion was at 11.48, and he got out at 11.90 is where he got out at. So he made, uh, I think, 30, 32% on that. But uh, when you have to ask that question, where do I get out, that means you don't know where you are. And if you look at that painting right behind me there, I think the very first one is when in doubt. I think it is the first one. Let me double check. Pretty sure. No, never add to a losing position. Uh, when in doubt is a little bit farther. That's this number two. Never add to a losing position is number one because that's the dumbest thing you can do because you're not only you're, you're increasing your exposure with risk margin, you're on the wrong side of the market because your analysis is wrong. So you don't want to do that. But when in doubt, stay out. That's from Mr. W.D. Gann himself.
So anyway, uh, thank you for the thing on. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to mention is, folks, no when, nowhere in the world did I give a buy signal on Tesla. I mean, I watched it go up, and I said once it goes above those areas, it's going to very, very bullish. I was saying that, but I never, I never, a, I never trade stocks, and b, I don't buy breakouts. You know, and but that was one of the ones that you know once it went above, you're trading in the direction of a very strong trend. So that's uh, that's what we're watching. So let's keep that in mind. When in doubt, yeah, just keep buying because they're going to go up forever. That's for sure. They will never go down anymore. Now I wanted to. Uh, we've got Jeff Huge as our guest today from Alpha Insights, and so that'll be fun. I also wanted to bring to your attention here. If you remember last week, we had a young man calling in. I don't remember the his name or the city that he called in from, but he was looking at this uh, uh, ZS, whatever that thing is. I can never remember, but I saved it because we've been up to the 1.618 now for five days, folks. We hit it again today. Uh, we made a new high today at 31.21, uh, I believe, but uh, it was trading right at 320.50 a little while ago. So it's been up here for quite a while, and it also could be breaking out. Listen, if they can take Avis, I just saw Basil post a chart on Avis. There's what you have to worry about, folks. If these Reddit folks and these Robin Hood people start jumping on these things, you better stand out. You better stand stand out of the way because these things can go crazy. I mean, Avis, I mean, uh, they must have found a cure for cancer, possibly. Who knows? Any, and we'll be looking at it on here. Okay, let's move on. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to Happy to answer them for you if I possibly can. Now, I wanted to spend just a tiny bit more time. Yesterday, I, I had several people complain to the fact that they don't believe that Bitcoins and all this other stuff is real. And I, I know you have an opinion on that, and I respect your opinion, however wrong it may be. But this was given to me by... Uh, John Jameson back in 2017 when he said that the Internet was there it was like it was in 1990. And the main thing here, if you look at that and read it carefully, in the third paragraph, it says, if you understand that you're already ahead of the game because what this business is about, it's a reconstruction of a metaverse. And you know that what, what's just happened to Facebook. It's a construction of a new virtual real estate uh, internet type thing, and that's going to be going on, and that's the way it's going to be. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm watching now because I'm going to start following some cryptocurrencies because I've watched what John's done. And uh, believe me, you can't do what he has done uh, by accident. And uh, the good part of it is this is what you're going to be looking at when you're watching some of these internet stocks. Now, this happens to be one that uh, we have on our watch list. And this, uh, you can see it. You, I'm not showing you the prices. I'm not showing you what it is. I just want you sh to see that the same patterns that we look at on anything else are in all of these stocks. And there are thousands of them, folks. You know, they have, what, three or 400 exchanges and, th you know, thousands of these that are trying to latch on, you know, to the secret code, to, you know, what's going on. So we're watching these things uh, very, very carefully. The two reasons, one, it doesn't cost very much to get in. This one happens to be under a dollar. And but you can see it has 50 percent moves, you know, all the time. So all we're watching for are the different patterns to unfold and you can buy them. But now I think as later on, we're going to have even better ways to enter the market. But we'll take a break right now. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have posted the chart of the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, I, the one we've been watching for the past several weeks. Uh, we have hit that number up there, as you know. We did hit uh, 35,985, I believe. Um, the, pro the ABCD pattern measured to 35, you know, 967. But remember, you know, if you can see something like what happened in Avis today, you know, that's not a small stock. Now, if you can see something like that where it's up 300%, I mean, you got to stand aside uh, of some of these things when they start to, you know, really go. And the NASDAQ was one that really went a lot higher. Now, the other one on the uh, the S&P, I, I, I posted them there because I wanted to talk about them today. You can see here what happened. I, I put them side by side. Now, this is long before this happened because I wanted to be uh, 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 clear on what was going on here. But if you'll take a look at this, these are the... Uh, these are the hourly charts of the E-mini. You can see that uh, price objective we were looking at at 46.20. Uh, we hit 46.21 and change today. The NASDAQ went went bonkers. It, it made that last little ABCD up there at 159.80, so it, it jumped 100 points higher. Well, part of that can be, you know, four or five stocks in that NASDAQ that go nuts and that you can't stand in front of that. But that's what we're that's what we're really paying attention to. Now, someone's asked a question uh, about the the painting behind my office here uh, on the wall here. Uh, that was painted by a, a, a wife of one of my customers from Drexel Burnham, gold buyer customer from many years ago. And she was a very famous uh, uh, painter. She actually painted fruits and vegetables in oils on canvas. That's all. And this is oil on canvas. And they painted this picture for me to... Uh, I think I have it in my, uh, oh, you know, I think I have it right here. I can just, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, uh, I, I know I have it, but I don't, I, well, let, since I'm talking about this, let's just do it right now. So if you have any questions, I want to get, if you want that picture of that painting and you can't see it, if you'll email me, uh, LarryPesavento at gmail.com, I can post it in there for you, and it shouldn't be any problem to uh 
to get to it. So just give me one second here to pull it up, and we'll all be able to see it uh, easy enough, God willing. And usually she is. Hold on just a second. What happened to my... Uh, Oh, I know what I did wrong here. Just a second here. There we go. All right, let me. I got to get to the portrait. P O R P O R portrait. T R A. Ah, well, that's what you happen when you have an Italian working on a working on a computer. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll get it done later, folks, and and send it out. I know how to find it. I'm just not finding it right now, and I don't want to waste any time. Question here, uh, would you be exiting all of gold shorts ahead of Wednesdays? Yeah, I don't like to be, uh, I don't like to be into a uh, 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 in a position when the Fed's out there because it's so crazy. And you know, Mr. Z's asking that question. And the reason why is, folks, liquidity dries up. I mean, you know, people like myself and Mr. Z, we, when, you, when you're in there talking and they say something, uh, I mean, you have unlimited exposure. Those of you that were trading back in 1995, do you remember our good friend Alan Reins, Greenspan at 1030 in the morning came out and dropped interest rates a half a percent and the S&P gapped? 50 bases, 50 points, folks, 50 handles. And, I, and I, I'm and i not even sure. Uh, I, I believe we – I don't even know if we were trading him any. All I know, it was it was 50 handles. I happened, I happened to be on the right side of that, but I, when I saw the, the price, I didn't even believe it. There were more bankruptcies at the Chicago Mercantile that day than there were after October 19th. I mean that's how bad that was. How that how how badly that hurt. Now, if you had that inside information, whether you were a, a treasurer of uh, Citibank or the CEO of Citibank, like Robert Rubin was, and you could use that to your advantage, do you think you would use that advantage? Well, I don't think so. You're too honest and too honest and good. Let's talk just a second about the uh, the uh, chi the climate change thing. I think one of the greatest predictions I've ever heard was from the number uh, two uh, polluter of uh, car hyd hydrocarbons in the world, China, uh, Prime Minister, chi not China, <laughs> uh, India, Prime Minister Modi came out and said, we will be carbon-free by 2070. Uh, that's only 50 years from now. And the uh, New York Mets said, we'll have won the pennant and the World Series six times in a row by then. Are you kidding me? I mean, people believe this kind of stuff. I, I just don't understand it. You know, it's just really, really amazing. But you've got the two major polluters, Russia and China, are not even at the meeting. How can you? How can you do a, a, a deal like that when you know a third of the world is not involved in it? Okay, emerging markets, MME futures. I don't do that, Ruby. Uh, I could do. Uh, uh, I could do the ETF if you'd like. How about that? Let me let me do the ETF. I, I do do that, and uh, let's just get let's just get this on, and then we will uh, we'll be able to do it easily enough. Hold on a second here. Hold on just a minute, boys and girls, and we'll get this E. It's E E M, as I recall. I used to look at it, but anymore I don't. Uh, there it is, E E M. By golly, we got it. And Mr. Z's coffee's been smoking too. It's been really doing well. Okay, here is the boy. This certainly doesn't look as bullish as any of the other stuff we've seen. I haven't looked at it in a very long time, but uh, we are in a uh, well. Last time I looked at it, let's just get this up here to see it. There's the old ABCD pattern again, folks. If you haven't seen it, there it is on the EEM. Uh, what we've done is uh, we've look at these lower highs. We had the big ABCD down here. Went perfectly to it. We rallied up. Uh, this is three lower highs. This is not a bullish chart. This is a major downtrend, folks. The last rally high was exactly 78% level. We're at some relatively good support here, but uh, that's all we have is that support. So let's uh, let's uh, keep that in mind because it's going to be interesting to see how that uh, unfolds. Okay. I hope that helps, Ruby, but I don't do the futures. I, I didn't even know they had futures uh, for that, but there's a lot of others that I don't know that we have either. Uh, we've got Mike from Niagara Falls on Tesla. Mike, what can we help you with? Yeah, hi. There's there's some controversy regarding that Hertz deal that caused yes. a big spike in Tesla late last week. And I just wanted okay. if you could take a look at the chart and tell me whether or not you've got a uh, a Gartley uh, cell signal there or a 135 pattern. Oh. 
No, no, no. Gartley, Gartley has exceeded the 1.6. We talked about this several times, but the 1.618 on the Gartley on the uh, Tesla came in at 11.48, and we're trading now at uh, 11.81. Let's just let's uh, hold on with me one second here, Mike. I meant to bring this up for you today, but you can see as I bring this up here, there is no reason that I can see to be uh, short this stock, and. Okay. Uh, let's, Hold on a second here. Uh, it's going to have some wild swings in here, but remember, uh, oh dear, I, I did this wrong. Shucks, I think I just made That's a okay. picture of the. I just made a picture of the, of the Dan. I'm sorry. Anyway, you can the see why when I bring we. The reason that up is, is um, I'm thinking that the charts, just the cycles here. Last year we bought them around November the second into the election night, and then we mm -hmm. took off into the end of the year. Maybe just maybe we're doing the reverse. We're topping out. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a, a swoosh down and probably break that, could, that 20 minute line. That could be, but I don't see any signal to, to short it here. I don't have any pattern, nothing at all, zero. So I have to stand aside on that. Okay. Okay. Thanks for calling in, Mike. Appreciate it. We'll be back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Stay tuned. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, I hope we have uh, Jeff Hughes from Alpha Insights on the line. Jeff, are you there? 
Okay, he's not called in yet, folks, so we'll uh, put him on hold. If uh, TFNN would give him a call, I would uh, certainly appreciate it. Uh, anyway, we'll move on to a couple of things here. We're making new highs now in the S&P. We just made a new high up here at uh, 423, trading at 421.75. Our forecasted high on that was at 420, and we are a little bit above that, so we're paying close attention to that, of course, as we look at all these markets. Let's take a, a just a, a few few seconds here, folks, to look at the crude oil market because that's, a, you know, they're talking about uh, – you know, $120 crude oil now, uh, and I, I think it might be a little bit premature here, but let's just, you can see what's happening here over the last few days. Let's just spread it out a little bit so we can see here. You'll be able to look at, this is what we're looking at here in the crude oil, that we've completed the ABCD here up yesterday at the 8490 level. That was a double ABCD, folks. I didn't even draw on the one between the 28th and the 30th. I didn't even draw that one in. Uh, and now you see we've come down. We've had lower highs now over the last uh, – the first and the second of November, you can see we have a lower highs in here and are moving to the downside uh, just a little bit. So let's keep in. Uh, I think we have Jeff on the line now. Jeff, how are you doing? Well, I think we have Jeff on the line. Can you hear me? Hey, we're in business. Strategic risk allocation, 80-20. Hey, by the way, I want to congratulate you and everybody in the den does. A couple of weeks ago, you said this market has not made a new high yet. And by golly, you were spot on. So tell us what you're looking at today, Jeff. Well, you know, um, the strategic risk allocation model is uh, really our most bullish model right now. What it's suggesting to us is that uh, stocks are continuing to go higher and our work really uh, supports that. There's a couple of mixed signals out there that, you know, we're watching just to be uh, on the safe side. But, you know, um, the, the technical trend is exceptionally strong. And we have a count to 4,800 on the S&P 500 right now. <laughs> Will that be today or later in the week? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> hey, we have a uh, chart of the uh, those two upside down cars. I thought that was really clever. Uh, this is your uh, advanced decline line. What you're watching here. You want to explain to folks what that is? Of course. So the the AD line is probably one of the most reliable signals to confirm the market's uh, upside potential. And what. Uh, uh, market technicians have done for ages is they've watched the all issues version of the AD line for confirmation of the market. And what I mean by all issues is that um, it covers everything listed on the NYSE. That's common stocks plus preferred stocks plus closed end bond funds and ETFs and things of that nature. And and by by and large, uh, that looks exceptionally bullish. We did make a new all time high in late October to confirm the breakout in the S&P and the rest of the major averages to new highs. What concerns us, and the reason I put that uh, 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 GIF of the, uh, of the Jeep, you know, on the top, it's, it's right side up and it says no problem. But if we look to the lower panel, that's the common stocks only version of the AD line. That's stripping out all the bond proxies that I mentioned. And in fact, the common stocks only version has not confirmed the price action of the major averages. And that's why the Jeep is upside down, because we might have a problem. Mm -hmm. Well, there certainly had been any problems as of yet. Jeff, I have to tell you, you do some of the most extensive work I've ever seen. I mean, it's just uh, it's amazing the amount that you work on. I think it's fabulous. Let's take a look at this next one that we're looking at, and that is the uh, – uh, inside, what do you call that, uh, internals of the market? Yeah, so what uh, the S&P 500's market internals really refer to is the breadth of participation, the momentum of the trend, and the net advancing volume that supports price. And what we're seeing is, you know, a pretty, um, uh, you know, significant recovery off the recent lows when uh, the market bottomed around uh, October 4th. However, we're not making new highs. Um, breadth, momentum, and advancing volume have all made lower highs. And so that creates something of a negative divergence with the new highs in price. And historically, negative divergences of this nature have tended to precede market volatility. Now, 
negative divergences can be resolved. In other words, if we get a big breakout in momentum and breadth, then those signals will no longer be concerning to us, and we would be expecting them to confirm the new highs. But thus far, we have not seen that. So, you know, again, another minor warning signal that we want to keep our eye on that suggests that there is a possibility for increased volatility. Okay, Jeff, we have a question from one of our listeners. Do you have a weighting yeah. mechanism with all the things that you're looking at? Do you have a checklist like a, you know, a, a weighting of uh, uh, how these things work? I mean, do you, do you do anything like that at all? We do. We have kind of what we call a red flag indicator. So we have these things mm -hmm. lined up and we're looking for, you know, um, a number of them, the vast majority, five or more of our mm -hmm. seven uh, key market indicators need to be flashing a red flag for us to get truly concerned. And, and right now we have three or four of them that are kind of on the watch list. Okay. Now, another question, if you don't mind, and that is, are, are you particularly interested on uh, the Fed days like we have today, uh, what they say or do anything like that? Does that affect any of these indicators that you're looking at? Well, sometimes it does, but I think it's more of a coincidence than anything else. Uh, for example, we've been talking about Montgomery cycle turn dates in some of our cycle work. And uh, we do have a major, mon I'm sorry, a minor Montgomery cycle turn date uh, on the 4th, which is Thursday. The Fed mm -hmm. meeting, which is ongoing today and tomorrow, and we should get their announcement on Wednesday. Um, you know, this somewhat correlates with that, that turn date. And it might mark a minor top in stocks where we'd be looking for some consolidation we would use a pullback as a buying opportunity in that particular case. Okay. Now, uh, the next one we're looking at is your volatility uh, has, has subsided. Uh, what, what effect does this have on what we're looking at? Well, you know, we put a question mark there for a reason, because, in fact, we have seen volatility subside back to around the 16% range uh, in terms of the VIX. However, if you look back to, say, mid-2017, we have a series of higher highs and higher lows, which by my definition equates to an uptrend in volatility. And so, you know, the real question here is, why didn't volatility make a new all-time low when price, when, when the stock market made a new all-time record extreme high? And so that leaves in place another form of a negative divergence, which again is one of the red flags that we're focusing on right now as a a minor concern. Wow, that's very interesting. I like that. I like those higher bottoms like that. That gives you a really good spot for risk control. And, and the fact that it didn't make new lows with the market going as high as it did, and of course with some of the stocks like Tesla. We have a question from one of our listeners about Tesla. Do you have an opinion on that stock? Because we have three or four people. Uh, could you wait for the break and we'll talk about it when we get back, Jeff? Yeah, you know I do. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Jeff Huge. Alpha Insights. We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Jeff, we have two questions. One was about Tesla, and that'll be followed up by Avis. Uh, I, you know, I can't explain how a market can double in price, you know, but uh, maybe they found a cure for cancer. Do you, first one is Tesla. Do you mind give us your comment on that? Sure, of course. Uh, so we're recommending Tesla. We actually uh, posted this in our recent note as uh, one of our top picks. Um, one of the things that I noted with Tesla is that back in uh, 2020, mid-2020, the breakout above uh, the split uh, on a post-split basis, 175 level, uh, saw two weekly candles that were explosive higher. And a lot of people were concerned and, and sold the stock at that point. We saw a modest consolidation before the stock ripped higher to about 500. And then another modest consolidation. The same situation occurred on the next breakout. You saw these big, heavy weekly candles that were just huge upside, 100 points, that sort of thing. But they didn't stop there. You saw some minor consolidation, and then they ripped higher to the new all-time high of 900. And here we are again. We saw a somewhat more significant consolidation, suggesting to me that the initial upsurge to 900 was the first wave and that the pullback that we just experienced into uh, say the June lows of around 550 that was probably wave two which means that we're in the midst of a third wave which should be the most powerful wave of a five wave impulse progression now our analysis suggests that the, the the stock can go meaningfully higher we've got target prices of 1262 initially then we think 1328 1661 2327 and ultimately we think this stock could go to four thousand three hundred and twenty four dollars that would quadruple that would make it the the first four trillion dollar market cap company if that played out not going to happen overnight not going to happen in a straight line but it wouldn't surprise me if it happened over the next 12 to 18 months Okay, you just gave George in Hong Kong a heart attack because he sold his long today at 1190. Anyway, he's happy you with that. You can always so buy it back. A, hey, that, <laughs> <laughs> believe me, George knows that. Uh, second was about Avis. I mean, I, I just saw it on the, the, the Bloomberg today that it, uh, I think it doubled in price or something? Yeah, more almost tripled. Uh, actually, oh. um, you know, Avis is a very small component of the transportation index, about 1.1%. As of yesterday's close, now it's about 3.3% because it's tripled. Um, we recommended the stock on the breakout at 95 and our initial target price was only like $125, but we've been raising that target price. This morning, 
uh, following the news, we posted on Twitter that we were reiterating our bullish opinion on Avis. and We raised our target price to $475. And people said, you're crazy. But if you use the rule of seven, okay, Art Sclerou's, um classic methodology of projecting upside targets for commodities and equities, you can arrive at a $475 target price. And, of course, we've exceeded that already. The stock went to, I believe, 545 of it at its high. It's now 355 uh, We actually followed up after the stock blew through our <laughs> 475 target and said to sell the stock at 481 So what am I doing right yeah. now? I'm sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> you mean you mean to tell me that it's went from 545 to 385 today? Uh, yeah, 355 as we speak. And the stock's all over the place. It, it stop. opened this morning. The low today was 173. The high was 545. This has become a meme stock, I believe. Wow. I had no idea. I saw the chart, but I had no idea that, uh, wow. That's actually scary, you know, uh, from my perspective. <laughs> it, it takes. Uh, all right, let's take a look at this next one that uh, you've uh, been kind enough to uh, send us, which is about that I have no idea about uh, this uh, Victor analysis that you're doing here. But can you tell the folks what you're looking at here? Sure. You know, we use a, um, a principle known as Elliott Wave Principle, and, and it basically mm -hmm. looks at various wave counts. We, we think that, you know, the market advances in five waves and corrects in three waves, and mm -hmm. so at multiple degrees of trend. And so the chart on the left there looks at really a 12-year progression from the 2009 low, and we're in the final movement uh, to the upside, and, and I believe we're in the early innings of that final movement. But, um, you know, we expect the market to carry to 4,800 at least. And uh, mm -hmm. if you look at the chart on the, on the right side of this uh, uh, slide, you, you're looking at a, a shorter term. This is just off the uh, March 2020 COVID crisis low. And so we're mm -hmm. looking at about a year and a half's worth of data. This is a weekly chart. And it shows that, you know, this breakout to a new high has the potential to move much higher to the top of the channel which would be about 52, 5300. But, you know, we get a measured count to about 48. So we like to start there with our measured count and then look at the price action between now and then and see if we can derive any new calculations for target prices. Now, the one thing I can tell you is that if, in fact, the S&P pulls back and closes below 4369, it means that there's something wrong with our count. And, the, you know, from one perspective, the wave four on the right side, which we just put in on October 4th, that could be wave A of four. And this move up could be wave B of four, meaning that there's another move down, wave C, that could just slightly take out that, that October 4th low. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that that's going to happen. I'm saying that's one of the possibilities. And if our make or break at 4369 is taken out, then that's probably what's happened. Wow. Okay. Now, the next one is one that is uh, very interesting. I don't understand it at all. So if you would explain to us uh, what you're talking about with these different, uh, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, not wave counts, sectors, but the weights, yeah. Cap, yeah, vectors uh, yeah. of the cap-weighted cap sectors. Yeah, so we're, we're looking at the, the, the 11 gig sectors of the S&P 500. And where technology and healthcare had been the leaders a month ago, uh, we've seen them rotate down into the lagging uh, and weakening space. So, so tech's still relatively strong, but it's rotating into the weakening quadrant. In other words, its relative strengths are losing momentum. Conversely, energy is soaring. Financials are doing exceptionally well. And to much to our surprise, discretionary has exploded to the leading quadrant. It led last month up 12.1%. And so, you know, that surprise to us has really shifted us to focus on discretionary. And, of course, um, if you look at the next slide, I've actually shown uh, the discretionary uh, index and this huge breakout that we've seen. And uh, we believe that, you know, the ETF XLY can rally further to around $241. Now, one other thing I would mention about it is uh, the simple fact that uh, Tesla is the largest component of the discretionary sector. 
And that wow. is driving much of that performance. And so if we're right about our analysis of Tesla, then we're going to be right about the sector. And, uh, you know, we're, we're playing it two different ways. Uh, you can either play it with emphasis on tex- uh, Tesla by buying XLY, or you can just buy an equal weight version of the entire sector, uh, which is symbol RCD. Okay. Jeff, will you stay with us? I want to let the folks know how they can reach you, okay? Sure, of course. We'll be right back, folks. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're talking with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Jeff, tell us the products that you have. Uh, they're really uh, quite extensive and, and how they can reach you. Sure, absolutely. So you can always find me on my website, jwhinvestment.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter, at Alpha underscore Insights. Um, I publish a variety of uh, institutional and retail publications. Uh, the institutional publication is Alpha Insights. That includes our monthly review and outlook and uh, weekly playbook. And then I also publish a newsletter entitled Huge Insights. It's a monthly newsletter uh, that's designed to help uh, individual investors and uh, those that are not uh, fast money traders, if you will, come up with more, um, uh, you know, thematic ideas, things that have a lot of shelf life that can play out over months as opposed to days and weeks. And so uh, those two publications are available at either of those locations. 
Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll have you on again soon. Great information. I really appreciate it. You have a wealth of uh, things to share with us, and we certainly do appreciate it. So, Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights, travel safe, and I I hope your uh, legislation there in Minneapolis passes so that you have a police department. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Thanks, Larry. I appreciate it. Great to be here. You bet. You bet, folks. Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights. I did post the picture of the painting behind me. If you do want a picture of it, let me know, and I'll send it uh, out to you if you like. Uh, We will have tomorrow as our guest will be Shane Smolian. Thursday, we will have uh, Stan Harley, and I'm still searching for someone for the Friday show. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And be sure to help take care of your neighbors, folks. A lot of them need help, and Things are not going to get easier right away, but they will soon. So it's always going to be brighter. So we got to remember those things also. We'll see you all on the flip side, and may God bless.